Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back and once again before we start this video We have the final two members of the Madden 99 club revealed the first one being Patriots cornerback Stefan Gilmore Second one being Saints wide receiver Michael Thomas both of whom had really good seasons this year uh, Stefan Gilmore winning defensive player of the year and I'm pretty sure uh, Michael Thomas won offensive player of the year but anyways, I'm gonna show you those two clips of them being surprised uh, and being told that they're in the 99 club and then we will get into the ratings. Hi, this is Gabrielle Gilmore, wife of Stefan Gilmore and we just found out that he got in the Madden 99 club and we're here to surprise him. Come here, Giselle. When daddy comes, you gotta give him a big hug and show him what you have, okay? Say 99. 99. <laughs> It's almost 100. <laughs> wow, who would have known? <laughs> A little kid from Rock Hill. <laughs> wow, he looked good on me. Wow, surprise. <laughs> Thank you, guys. What's up everyone, this is Patty, I'm Michael Thomas's barber. I get to present Mike with his Madden 99 rating award. I just cut his hair, he's upstairs showering right now, and then I challenged him to a game of pool. So he's gonna walk down, thinking he's gonna play me in pool. And his award's gonna be sitting right on the table. Madden? 99 club. Like this. Man did the same. Damn, nice little chain. Definitely could be like this in the game. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Back to back. Thank you, EA Sports. I'm really grateful and I appreciate it. Thank you. Now the kids know who to play with when they play the game. They'll see why Drew Brees gives me a lot of opportunities on Sunday. 99 in real life, 99 on the game. Can't guard Mike. So guys, here are the top 10 cornerbacks in Madden 21. The first one is Stefan Gilmore, no surprise, 99 overall rating, one defensive player of the year last year, and is in an absolutely loaded secondary this year. I mean, you got J.C. Jackson and Jonathan Jones. Both of them are so underrated. J.C. Jackson, probably one of the most underrated players in the NFL. Then you got the McCourty brothers, and you got Patrick Chung, um, so that's, he's going to be able to succeed this year. And that Patriot secondary is going to be pretty deadly. Number two, you got a pretty significant drop off, a five overall drop off to Jalen Ramsey with the number, with a 94 overall rating. Um, then at number three, you got Richard Sherman with a 92 rating. I don't know why, but it's weird for me to see. It's still kind of weird seeing Jalen Ramsey in a Rams uniform instead of a Jaguars uniform, and especially seeing Richard Sherman in a 49ers uniform instead of being in the Legion of the Boom. It's still kind of weird for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, Richard Sherman in 92. Um, if you guys don't know, he did get burned last year in the Super Bowl, so I wonder if that's why he's down at a 92 when in previous years he's been really high rated overall in fact when he's actually the man cover athlete and number four you got jair alexander with a 90 overall rating some people are disagreeing with that but he's he's a bit of an underrated player or at least he was before this season i feel like he's getting more uh some more respect now after the season that he had number five tredavious white with a 90 rating he's also really good uh, about equal with jair alexander according to madden then at number six, you got an 89. You got Marlon Humphrey, the Ravens cornerback. He's a good, good cornerback. Um, number He's actually tied with the number seven player, Casey Hayward Jr., who's on the Chargers. Uh, Chargers also have a loaded secondary this year. Number eight, you got Dolphins cornerback, former Cowboys cornerback, Byron Jones. Uh, Dolphins actually have a very stacked cornerback duo in Byron Jones, Xavier Howard, probably in the top three for cornerback duos. Uh, might be a little biased because I'm a Dolphins fan, but I do believe that Byron Jones, being the shutdown corner he is, and Xavier Howard being the ball thief that he is, that would just be stacked. And we would have one of the best secondaries in the league if Minka Fitzpatrick didn't leave. 
Uh, tied with Byron Jones is Darius Slay Jr., who many people think should be higher up, and Patrick Peterson, who's kind of in the downside of his career. I mean, I say he's in the downside of his career, but he's not playing bad. He's just not as good as he once was on like those 13-3 and Cardinals teams with like, Carson Palmer. Um, I could, like... I have seen a lot of arguments saying, like, there should be some players in here that aren't in here. Like, yeah, there's other good cornerbacks in the league, like Xavier Howard, Marshawn Lattimore, Shaquille Griffin, uh, McCourty, um, all those guys. There's probably more, too. But I've just seen a lot of arguments for that. And when I look at this rating, I'm not saying that the ratings are, like, exactly spot on because most of them are not. What I'm saying is, like, let's say... I was a Saints fan making a case for Marshawn Lattimore being in the top 10. Who would I take out to have Marshawn Lattimore replace? Like, I don't see anyone in the top 10 who's not deserving of a spot in the top 10. I could see some players getting their overall moved up, like Patrick Peterson, Darius Slay, maybe even Richard Sherman a little bit. Um, but anyways, I don't, like, my back to my point, I don't see if you were going to add someone else into the top 10, who else would come out. I mean, obviously, there's some players who are probably close to Patrick Peterson. There's maybe some other 88 overalls or like an 87 or an 86 overall or somewhere close. But anyways, let's move on to now the top safeties in the number one spot. Harrison Smith, he does it all. Um, he kind of can line up anywhere in the field. I mean, he played some slot and he's a hard, he's just a hard hitting safety. And number two, you got the honey badger, Tyron Matteo. Uh, he really is really solid for the chiefs last year. He's coming in at a 93 rating. Number three, you got Jamal Adams, who I'm, a, I'm a little surprised he's not number one in the league. Um, but I mean, I guess I'm, I'm not here to really argue the ratings. I'm just here to show them you guys. And tied with him is Devin McCourty. McCourty, uh, the safety, and his brother being a cornerback, both very good. Uh, is he tied with Jamal Adams in terms of how good he is? Probably not. I think Jamal Adams is a little higher. And Jamal Adams, who's currently on the Jets, actually, uh, there's things of him, or there's rumors that he's going to be traded. Uh, number five, you got Kevin Byard with the nine numbered. With the 91 rating, I don't know why I keep screwing up when I say ratings. Number six, you got Broncos safety Justin Simmons coming in at that 90 rating. Below him, you got Derwin James Jr. Uh, Derwin James probably a little bit low for being at 89. But you guys got to remember, like, yeah, the ratings aren't going to be perfect. But it might not matter too much because they're still going to get, like, superstar abilities and X-Factor abilities. Number eight, Eddie Jackson. He's a beast. I don't know why he's ranked so low. Uh, tied with Jerwin James, but I feel like they should be higher. Uh, number nine, Micah Hyde, Bills safety, coming in in 88. And tied with him, Earl Thomas, who I feel like Earl Thomas is a little low. But man does have this thing where they kind of have to, like, keep player Like, they have to keep, like, issue like off-the-field issues in mind. Like, example, like, Michael Vick, they couldn't, like, when, he came, when Michael Vick came back, they couldn't have really had him rated as high as he was before because like obviously he had done some stuff off the field and the NFL didn't really want them like making him like seem like everything was fine and that you don't get punished for that kind of off the field stuff so I wonder if that was a factor that went into Earl Thomas's 88 rating it's probably not they probably just had a bad rating for him but anyways we're moving on in a cornerback speed number one is Dante Jackson coming in at a 96 at number two you got Browns cornerback Denzel Ward with a 95 rating he's actually tied with Keon Croson with nine who also has 95 and Perry Nickerson who's 95 uh coming in at a tie for 95 you got a five-way tie you got Shaquille Griffin of the Seahawks Chris Chris Westry Tony Brown Fa Fabian Morrow I might be mispronouncing that Anthony Brown and Jonathan Jones of the Patriots. Jonathan Jones, one of those underrated cornerbacks I was talking about. I wonder if there's more players who have a 94 speed rating. They just couldn't fit it on here. Uh, but basically the fastest cornerback in man, Dante Jackson. And then you, after that, it's just kind of like a tie. I mean, there's not really like a clear number one. Like in terms of cornerback overall, Stefan Gilmore is the clear number one. But here, Dante Jackson's only the fastest by one speed. Then you got the cornerback man coverage ratings. Not really much surprise here. 
I mean, you got Stefan Gilmore with the 99 rating, Jalen Ramsey with the 95. Both of those guys are absolutely locked down corners. So is Jair Alexander with a 93, Casey Hayward with a 92, Tredavious White with a 91, Marlon Humphrey with a 90, Sherman with a 90, Patrick Peterson with an 89, and I'd actually argue that Patrick Peterson's a little bit above Sherman. Uh, Desmond King with an 88, and Chris Harris Jr. with an 88. And uh, they actually haven't put out the zone coverage ratings, although they did put out the play coverage recognition. And Richard Sherman's actually on top of here with a 99 rating. Stefan Gilmer got a 98. Desmond King with a 95. Chris Harris Jr. got the 93. Casey Hayward Jr. got the 92. Uh, Jalen Ramsey, 91. Mike Hilton, 89. Mike Hilton's a pretty underrated player as well. Patrick Peterson with an 89. Tredavis White with an 88. And Justin Coleman also with an 88. Uh, I don't, I'm not really going to go too much over the ratings because uh, I feel like you guys kind of know what the ratings do. And sometimes ratings don't really matter too much. Hopefully they matter a little more this year than they did last year. Because I feel like last year, no matter what overall player you had, you could just cheese it and make him good as long as you were using him. But... Anyways, another reason I'm not going over the full ratings is because I'm pretty sure the ratings for every single player are going to be released soon. I mean, they're already leaked, and I already made a video on the top 10 players from every team. Go check that out. It'll be in the top right-hand corner right now. Just click on that, and it'll take you to the video. Um, so, But yeah, that's why I'm kind of going a little quicker over this one than I have in the past, just because I know that the full ratings are going to come out, so you guys are going to be more interested than that than just one position but anyways the safety hit power you got jamal adams who's really hard hitting with a 96 keanu neal with a 95 harrison smith with a 93 landing collins with a 93 dj swearington swear swearinger i don't know why i said swearington swearinger uh carl joseph with a 92 derwin james jr 91 Kenny Vaccaro, 89, Josh Jones, 89, and Trey Boston with an 88. Um, and that's all the ratings that they've released so far. I did find another cool thing that I just wanted to show you guys because I've showed you guys, like, the most 99-ranked players. Uh, so, like, players who've been ranked 99 the most times. I think Peyton Manning was number one on the list. And another cool uh, list kind of like that is the Golden Foot Club. So I don't think they released the kickers yet but there's this cool list of the, all the kickers who've been a 99 in Madden so Morton Anderson of the Falcons was a 99 in 1999 Vinatari who's pretty much kind of known for his game-winning field goals with the Patriots especially in that Super Bowl he was a 99 in 2004 with the Patriots and a 99 in 2006 with the Colts Mike Vanderjack sorry if I botched that last name it was a 99 in 2005 with the Colts. And David Akers was a 99 <clears throat> with the Eagles in 2006. Uh, I don't know if you know David Akers, if you guys saw his roast. I think it was either last year or two years ago. He had this really funny roast on the Cowboys during the NFL draft. I'll actually throw it up on screen right now. Hey, Dallas! The last time you were in the Super Bowl, uh -oh. these draft picks weren't born! <laughs> Anyways, guys, those are the top defensive backs in Madden 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to stay tuned because I am posting the top wide receivers in Madden 2021 either today or tomorrow. It depends when I choose to release this video. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm currently doing a series right now where I'm simulating the entire uh, Madden 20 season, or not Madden 20, the 2020 NFL season in Madden. Uh, so if you guys want to check it out, I've been streaming the games. It's full 15-minute quarters on simulation-style game. Uh, I'll be releasing stats and standings for those weekly so you guys can keep up with it. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I make mad news videos and sports highlights videos daily. And make sure to join the Discord. And anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video.